my fellow YouTube viewers. This is a Diamond Dots video that I'm going to do. It's a Dotsies bracelets, and they're the animal prints. I got this as part of a Michaels haul, and it was actually 99 cents. Now, I don't know what the original price on these were, but it was 99 cents when I got it. And I got it here in Birmingham, Alabama at the store in Bessemer. I was out that way this weekend, so I went there. Normally, I'm on the other end, on Trustful End. And I used to go to that Mike's, but I go to all of them. We have four here. There's one in Hoover, and there's one on 280, which is still sometimes considered Hoover, depending on how far in you are. So all the same, um, this is supposed to be a zebra, a, a lion, a tiger. Ah! It's at other schools, so I can't even grasp it. And this one is supposed to be a cheetah, if you can see that trim with the dot there. So, I am a person who never thought I would want to do diamond dots, because it's like, oh, that's so simplified and paint by number. I don't want to do anything like that. Why waste my time and money? And then I got a good price on one. <laughs> Started with the, the glamorous lady. And it was like $60 or something like that, 40 something. And then I got it for like 14 Then I ended up getting a butterfly, which was like about $14. I got it for 3 And then I started doing them, and they were so relaxed. And, and then I saw one, a Cinderella, which is normally $60. I got it for like $14 or $15. So I am now a diamond daughter, and I would tell anybody, if you think you're too busy for it, then that's when you need it because I thought I was too busy to have time and I make time for it because it has been so relaxing. And they said that, um, in some reading that I did, it said that they do use it for like, I guess when people are in counseling or rehab and I'm not in either of those. Um, but I can see what this helps you relax and it really takes your mind, mind, not mind, mind off of things and kind of directs it to what's going on. So anyway, I got this particular one that I'm doing today. The bracelets is what it, it um, comes with. So this is how the box looks. So when you get the box, this tool, the stylus, is inside of this bag with this little wax, this bag with the wax pack and the Diamond Dots holders, or the, what do they call them? Not brads, <clears throat> the Diamond Dots. All right, and then it come, comes with the three designs, just as I said, the zebra, the tiger, and the leopard print. And it comes with the little packets, what are they calling them, Dotsies. And so these come separated. Now I did I do a, a haul on this, a Michaels haul. And so that's why I got these cut off because I, I did a quick little demo on the zebra. So, but it comes with one, two, three, four, and five, six prepackaged. Um, the doxies that you're going to use. It also comes with the legend. Well, that's what you say in maps, legends. But in this case, they may name it something else. But the co basically the code that you would use to match the 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 serial number, the dot design of where you're going to put the dots. And then this is the number. And I showed them a video. If you get any black, the series number on that is 8001. You might go from one diamond dot design to another one, and they may not all be the same serial number. But that um, diamond dot's number, every time you get it 8001, it's going to be black. Every time. Now they may have different shades of black. They got the black, the metallics and all. But if you're getting the basic black, it's gonna be that. And then if you're getting this type of white, cause um, like this to me, it has a little iridescence. 
um, and pink reflecting and yellow. That on this, the serial number is four, but it's not going to always be four in every picture, but it will have that diamond dot number of 5001. So let's say if you wanted to try to reproduce this design or you wanted these colors, you can buy the freestyle diamond dot that come in a little container. Now it just so happens that I'm in another area that I normally don't record in. I'm using a different table, a different stand, and I don't actually have the freestyle type, but they're in a little capsule that's about, uh, let's say, about two inches tall, about yay round, and you just screw top off. You can buy them individually, which if you get them on sale, so I think they're about $1.99, and then if you get them on sale, usually some there at some places they're like thirty percent off. So what I do is, and there um, some of the designs are so big you're gonna get a whole lot. Most of them that I get, I get a whole lot more colors than six. So I'm gonna do the zebra first, and I like to do them to relax, so I don't try to get um, the stylus that can pick up three at a time and put down three at a time. Okay, what I like to do is move a whole lot of stuff out of the way. So I'm going to put these things back in here just for the angleness of my mind to get them out of the way. Okay, so we got the code. We're going to do three and four. The bigger black dot, smaller black dot. But you don't have to think about it because it's right here. The big black dot is in black. The smaller black dot is the white. It comes with a stylus. It comes with a tray. If you get a kit, what I found is they always come with everything that you need. They come with a stylus. They're going to come with a tray. Some of them have a grip handle where you can hold on to it, but this one is a smaller kit, so it does it. A lot of the other ones, they come with a round little pad that's about this big and they hold the wax in there in between these two little plastic coverings just to keep the wax moist and like I said I did a demo so I did dig into it and that's about how it looks when you dig into it to put some wax on the stylus I may have a little in there but all the same because um, you know, I'm getting ready to start fresh. I've got my wax in there. You know, for this moment, it's not gonna, it's not gonna dry out. So I'm not gonna have a fear of that. But I'm gonna start with, which color do I wanna start with? Well, I guess since I already started with black, I'll just continue with black. So what I do, and the reason I started, I, I was down in my other area and I had, um, I got one of the consoles that I had there, so I just used it. Normally, <laughs> normally they have little ridges here so that I can tear it. But fancy it today that I cut it so it doesn't. I'm trying to, I'm looking at some scissors across the way. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can ease it out the way and go over here and get a pair of children's scissors. Cause hey, you gotta get what you can get. Okay, so I just cut a corner. I don't, I don't try to cut um, the full, Side. I just like to cut a corner and that's really larger than I normally cut it and see what I normally do in a lot of the bigger kits that I've bought they come with extra little zip bags so that you can store these in so that it, they don't fall all over the place I think I have enough of a surface area so I don't have to worry about them falling all over the place so what I'm gonna do is just show you the directions that also comes in here and what they show you. So the first thing they do, am I shaking? 
Sorry. Okay, the first thing I do is make sure you got everything inside the container that you need. Your bracelets. These showing some different bracelets. Um, it's just showing you how you have everything there. Then they show you that you open the dotsies. You're putting them into your container. Like I said, I just try to do enough to get in there. And I shake them a little bit to try to get them to turn upside, right side up. So then they show you that you get some of the wax. I already did that. And it's not, you know, you're not going to be sent to Diamond Dots Jail for not following this order. But I already put a little wax on my stylus. Then they're showing you, number four, that you're going to use your stylus, put it in here on a dot, and pick a dot up. Then they're showing you, you're pulling back that film, that plastic film, and you're putting your dots down. And you just continue to put your dots down until you finish. You can start on either end, whichever way you want. Then after you finish, you can put your bracelet on and wear it. How fantastic is that? So I just dropped that dot. And I don't see where it went yet, but, mm, you know, I'll see it in a minute. So I am going to get into focus here and start putting on some dots. And now they'll say when you're left-handed or right-handed, you should go a certain way. I'm left-handed. So, I'm thinking that they're saying that I should go this way. And they probably are saying, um, because you don't want to run your hand against that. Oh, I didn't say, but underneath this film is a plastic, I mean, not a plastic. Underneath this plastic film, though, there the surface is tacky. And so you don't want to remove this before you're finished or before you've finished an area because it can lose that tact and get dust and, uh, you know, hairs or any little thing in there and it'll stop the, the stickiness, stop the dots from getting being able to stick in there. Okay, so I don't like how... I've done that, so we're going to try to correct that. I got it kind of going at an angle. I kind of just did those really quick when I was doing the video the other day. And another thing, I really don't like that stuff hanging over. And that's just me being anal. <laughs> but I don't like the wax hanging over. You see why I need to do them? Because I'm anal. And I can get too anal about stuff. And um, I just recently, well, I'm starting a new job tomorrow. Not at a new place, but I got a promotion. And I hear, well, the, the guy that I like, how he termed it, he said, it's going to be challenging. And I, I like the way he said that. Because a lot of people like to say, oh, it's hard. Like, it's, like I'm not smart enough to do it. But um, <laughs> I can take challenging now. But I'm one of those weird people who I can cook you a full dinner and may mess up some jello. So, challenging is my kind of thing. Now, I was acting pretty anal about that positioning, and I'm not going to change my mind on that. But at the same time, I like to say that this is very relaxing, and it's not the most expensive way to relax. I laugh at myself because every time I buy them, I buy them on sale, but that's just what I've learned to do. It's just know that everything 
goes on sale and I have enough stuff to do to keep me busy until whatever it is I want goes on sale. So I have a craft room. Well, it was a salon and I got allergies and I can't do hair because that's what I used to do. And so I, um, I'm converting my salon into a craft room. And I was, I, I'll tell the truth. I was collecting, some people might say hoarding. <laughs> I was collecting some items. And I was like, okay, I keep trying to clean this stuff up. And my husband keeps saying, oh, you're just moving stuff from one side of the room to the next side of the room. And to a certain degree, he was probably right. But I was thinking I was getting them in a better order for me to do my crafts. And then I just decided, I said, you know, instead of just moving them and trying to get them organized, because you know how we all like watching those videos of people organizing. And I say we because they've even said on the national news that during this pandemic we're in, and we are in it because my daughter, my youngest child, just got diagnosed with COVID yesterday. And you may say, well, why are you... I'll straighten it up later. Why are you um, doing diamond dots if your child has been diagnosed with COVID? Well, she's not in the hospital. She's here with me, quarantined in her room. She's too young to take the vaccination. The rest of us are older, and we have. And so, this is allowing me to relax. She was thinking she wasn't able to taste food today. But I put that dinner together, and she made it through it. And ate everything, so that's great. She's, her symptoms are mild. I pray and I thank the Lord for letting her have mild symptoms where she doesn't have to go in the hospital. And I pray that he continues to bless us in that way. Because we wear our mask outside. Um, but we don't know who carry, who's a carrier. And so, we just do the best we can. And thank God my job lets me telework because I start the position tomorrow, the actual working, and we're doing basically through teleconference just because they have to get any people who are hired who haven't worked there before. Like, I'm, I I worked there. I've worked there for five years. I just got a promotion, but some people have gotten hired, so they have to get their equipment. And that works well for me, too. So, yeah, it's just as simple as this. You see how simple this is? And so, do you see that even if it's not straight, I can go back. You've seen me adjust them. So I can go back in and see, slide them in this position. Now, if you get a bigger kit... You don't want to wait to the end to get them in position. I would say just try to, I mean, not that I didn't try to start it off doing it right, but you want to try to make sure that you started off doing it right so that you can, you don't have to worry about doing corrections later. A stitch in time says nine. That's what they say. Now, for me, normally, the ideal way to do this is that I will be putting some white ones down along with these black ones. So because I have a lot of kits and I just didn't happen to think about that, when I bring up one of the kits, um, well, when I do my next dot, 
bracelet. I'm gonna have that second tray and do them together. And another thing, what was the other thing? Oh. Well, they say that, you know, you should um, like try to do it weird so, you know, my hand wouldn't rub up against it. And so that's why that second tray would be in handy. And if I had the, the, but the thing with this one is that if I was doing a bigger kit, I would have more surface area where I would be putting down more, probably chances are more dots of the same color. And because this surface area is so small, I don't have as many. And I could have I could have easily have mixed the two because it's not like there's going to be a color bleed because it's not paint. Even though it, was, it looks like paint by numbers, you know, you just put it in that spot. And like I said, I, I laugh at myself because I was like, I will not. I mean, I just said, I will not do that. I will not waste my money on diamond dots. And I'm here now thinking about it being so easy that not only have I spent my money, I have bought a bunch of the free form ones. Like I told you, the free form ones are the ones when they don't come in a kit. You can do your own design. They got books that they show you how to do different things. I'm thinking about doing my own drawings and doing freestyle kits. I've bought a blank. They actually sell the fabric like that um, is used on the other kits. They sell that and you can make designs. They have cards. I don't know if people have seen them. Now I see them at Michael's and Hobby Lobby because I am an in-store shopper. They are available. Um, you know, you can go order them via Amazon, Create and Craft, Hobby Lobby, all those. You can order those too. All of those if you do online shopping. I'm just not a big online shopper. Since COVID, I have lost about a thousand dollars that I can't do anything about. My husband, he's an online shopper, right? He can order his stuff. If it's something wrong with it and he returns it, he can almost halfway tape up the container and his stuff gets returned to wherever it goes. And I mean, he's buying high quality stuff. His stuff gets returned. My stuff is high quality too. Like I ordered, by, mist by mistake, I ordered something from HSN and Amazon return both and no I did not get insurance on them my husband he doesn't either mm -hmm. and he um his stuff always gets set back fine in mine has not made it yet. I'm hoping with COVID that everything will eventually, because you know, it's not like I'm not using a reputable people to return this stuff. It's not like I'm not using reputable companies. But yeah. So. So I go to the store. And just get whatever it is I'm looking for. Because I'm, I'm tired of losing money. A thousand dollars is much more than I want to just give away to somebody that has a reputable company. And my stuff isn't getting what it's supposed to get. And I shouldn't have to buy insurance 
and I shouldn't have to track it. Hmm. I'm angrier about it than I'm up here. But y'all don't want to hear me scream. So, I'm soon going to come to an end of not only the black, but the time I have allotted to do this. So I just kind of wanted you all to see and I got to talk a little bit about nothing. I didn't know I was going to talk about that, but anyway, all the same. I enjoy this. It's relaxing. And I'm going to keep posting um, the things that I do with Diamond Dots. So at some point you may actually see a free form design that I'm going to do. And maybe, just maybe, Leisure Arts will let me... I think they're the ones behind it. Maybe they'll let me get a design or something posted. I know that's saying something totally different. But whoever owns it, shoot, they usually are behind everything else. <laughs> so... Look at there, look at there. I got all the blacks done. So I'm gonna go off to my lonesome and finish the white. But I'm just gonna show you. That's why you don't do bracelets, but you just attach this. And you got a bracelet. anything else to do. So I'm gonna go on and show you that I finished those so I'm gonna slide these to here. Now when you have the kits they have the little hole there where you can slide it back in there easily. Oh I can't see. Okay. I'll get those in later. And I will. And then I'm going to cut this enough, open wide enough, so that I can make sure I can pour these back in also. This didn't take a long time, so I'm just going to go on and put the white ones in there. And I'm not going to pour all of them out. Oh, wow, I thought I had gotten a lot more of those black ones back in, but I did not. And there's already wax on this tip. I'm not going to add any more. What I am going to do is put this film that fell off back over it so that I won't put my hands on the side that isn't covered. So now I'm doing the white part of the zebra. <laughs> I heard somebody saying that on TV and I thought that was so cute. Zebra, I'm like who says zebra? I don't know, maybe they were from another country. But I've never heard anyone anywhere say zebra. So I'm gonna put the white part of the zebra. All right, so you saw it looks like it wants to not pick up. So I'm gonna go in here, scoop in a little wax inside the bottom side of my stylus and 
continue. There are some videos where people um, are talking about diamond dots. And because I like doing them now, I like going, I like watching them. Like when I'm going to sleep, I might watch arts and crafts or YouTube, on YouTube. And so, oh, I want to shout out some people, but I can't remember the names. It's, there's a lady that does something, coffee and something is her name. And I watch hers and, you know, she shows how she separates her dots and, and I don't, I don't, I watched, I watched her. She got my, she got that view because I watched her and I could sit and watch stuff like that. But I, I, I just, well, I guess I didn't, I don't buy the things that she buys for it because they have the freestyle containers. Like, okay, normally, like I said, if you get a kit, it comes with extra baggies for you to put these in. So I use what I'm gonna use and then I put them in the extra bags. And then when I finish a kit, I go to the ones that I have stored freestyle, which I'll, I'll have to sh show that one day. Um, that I got a, a, it's like a spice rack. It's a pretty spice rack that you will hang up in the kitchen and it has, it holds my, uh, you know, I want to do one by one because, but those came up at the same time. So that's why I did that. But I like doing the one by one because I like to just take my time and really enjoy, enjoy putting my dots down. But, um, yeah, it's a really pretty spice rack and so I buy the freestyles and I put them in there and so what happens is when I finish these I'm going to put them in with the freestyle so that's why I haven't bought a separate container because I bought a separate container that the company puts them in and at first I was like should I get these I'm going to have to also show on a YouTube video this blouse that I got that these were used to design it and that was before I knew I'm not going to say that they weren't available but before I knew that this is what they were using and so that particular blouse now I tell you um, you if you're going to use these I wouldn't tell you to uh, yeah I saw that drop I, I knocked it on off because it was turned the wrong way I, I'm going to hand wash it. Well, not just hand wash it. I'm just going to put it in the sink and let it soak and then rinse it through. Because I think even if you're sealing them, you're going to lose some. Like in just wearing it, I lose some. Now what I do with this is sometimes when they get on top of each other, I use this to press them so that you know, I can knock them off the, off of each other. And I just have to tell you, I thought I had one. Yeah, this is so relaxing. And if it seems as if they're not going where they're supposed to be, one, they are, and two, I can go back later and straighten it out, so... I don't try, I try, I try not to be anal about this, but you all already caught me in the act, so ain't no need of me acting like I don't. So relaxing. I have, um. If you've seen any of the diamond dot pictures, I have recently the one I guess you would call her a fairy. Her background of her body and face is black. 
And she has her, her little dress on and the little shoes that you actually do the diamond dots. Well, I had bought one to do it because I had seen it and thought I would do it. I knew I would get around to it. I just didn't grab it at first. Well, they went on sale. I think they were like $14.99. It went on sale for like three something. So I had bought one. I was like, you know, this is a good size 12 by 12 that I can make a purse out of this. So I bought two. So I'm going to be doing that one also. Well, I've done one. So I'm going to do the other. And I'm going to sew the edges together. Because that's all you need. And then I'll probably cut off. Now you probably think that's funny, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut off the sides, sew with the edges. And I'm going to use them and make the handles. That's my plan. Unless it start looking like it shouldn't be used for that. But that's my plan. And I'm going to make a purse. Okay, and I'm just going to tell you the truth. You're not supposed to pull this plastic off because you don't want your hands to touch it. And I'm left-handed, so I pull it off and go to the right like I'm doing. Well... Some of it was moved over and I didn't realize it. Here I am being anal. And my finger was sticking to it. Now I caught it soon enough. So it's not like it's going to stop me from putting the dots on here. But I'm saying it to say that you're not supposed to try to do that. This is a good day and a good time. It's been raining. We're still experiencing some of Ida. I'm in Birmingham, so I'm too high to get a hurricane, but not out of the perimeters of getting a tornado. Well, I don't know if you heard it, but I just heard a bird. And um, so it may not rain anymore tonight, but the power has already gone out and come back on. So life is continuing on. Now this is fun to me. And if you're a person that's still out there watching and listening to me, you're my people because guess what? I would be doing the same thing. I have watched videos of this one lady, and I need to remember, I did subscribe to her channel, but um, you know, I just progressively move on. It's like I, I, on some of my devices, I sub subscribe so people can get their count. But on some of the other devices, I don't. So that I can get random things that I didn't, you know, normally think I would do. And I get exposed to some stuff that I was like, oh, I never thought about doing that. Because like, for instance, when I started doing the diamond dots, and fell in love, and I didn't think I would. I had ran out, right? <laughs> I ran out of um, kits to do. And I was like, I, you know, I couldn't get to the store. I mean, it wasn't that, that I don't have stores near me, because I have a bunch of stores near me. Um, Hobby Lobby's and Michael's. And only one Joanne, though. And I'm glad we got her back because for a while there we didn't have a joint. Well, it was here and then they left. 
we had two little cakes and some they left. And then now they've come back. So, um, but I, I have, I have plenty of crafts and I was like, you know, like I told you, instead of trying to, if you watched the other video somewhere in there, I said, instead of, um, just keep moving my stuff from one side of the, the garage to the next, I started trying to do them. I said, okay, I did diamond dots and, oh, they made me full of joy. And so now I am going to do latch hook. So then I had a latch hook kit, which I thought I needed stuff. And I was like, well, I got some latch hook. Um, Cause I did some braids, some latch hook braids. Well, you know, they come crochet, but it's latch hook. And um, so I said, well, I got the kit and I got the, the latch hooks. I got two. Lo and behold, the kit comes with the latch hook. And so I had a, a butterfly latch hook kit that was sitting around. So I did that. Then I, I was like, man, I like latch hooking too. <laughs> Who knew? That was another thing I said I was not going to do. But I did after I did those braids, I really was like, this here is cool beans. I'd really like to do some more of this. So then when I got that kit done, I saw another kit. And I did that kit. So I'm thinking, I am about to design my own latch hook kits too. And yeah, I would have to do a lot of cutting to get those little things done. But like I said, I've watched people bag diamond dots. I've watched people... And I didn't finish saying what that lady did, but I watched her. You know how you put the, you put your um, your yarn, your thread. It's not yarn. Well, you put the thread on those little um, what you call them when you put them on the boards? It's not a spool, but like a spool. But it's the paper, and you can get any paper. But she had bought the the little holders, and she had bought the winder, and she was winding up. And she recorded it, and guess who sat and watched it? I sat and watched it, and it put me to sleep. And I slept very well. So, if you're watching this and you're feeling like you don't have time to watch and listen to me talk about nothing, watch it when you're going to sleep. My little country town voice <laughs> will put you to sleep, and you'll probably sleep really good because I did. In fact, I'm thinking about <laughs> going and find that lady's videos and and watching her wine some more thread <laughs> because I don't think I watch her do one project. It's like. When I watch YouTube, every other week or month, I do a new project because I come across something new. Like, people do embroidery. So, well, now I want to embroider. Look, in fact, right over here, okay, that's upside down. I hate when that happens. So, I switch it off. But right over here beside me, in my purse, I've been carrying not only this to do, but I got a little punch needle kit that I'm going to do. And not only am I thinking I'm going to do punch needle kits, I think I'm going to buy the gun. And I think I might make me some rugs. And the latch hook, I mean, you know, of course, that's what they end up being. Our pillows, pillow covers, cushions, if you're from England. And yeah, so all of this I'm going to use for something like the ones that I've done. I'm planning to make some purses. I'm not going to use them for pillows. I got a bunch of pillows. I could use them for pillow covers, but I am going to use them to 
make purses and carry them around. So look there, look at there. I skipped two eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go in and correct this. But look at me. I got a bracelet. Well, maybe I'll move from over where my Fitbit is. And the funny thing about it is my arms have gotten a little little thicker here. If you watched a movie about Ray Charles' life, you know he probably won't want to date me. So he used to, but I got to work on that. So I know will. But you see how simple that was, and I probably could have worn it as a bracelet anyway. And now, just as simple as that, I got it finished and it got sparkles. So, let's say if I wanted to, I could put some tack, tacky glue on here. Annie's has some. And um, put some black ones here. And they have pink ones and put some pink ones there. And this looks fine, this covering. It's a dish towel that I got from Hobby Lobby and put in the Hobby Lobby haul, leopard print everywhere. But no, it's not in that one. It's in the kitchen. Kitchen. And um, so I got a bracelet, as simple as that. And they, you know, if, even if they don't have this, you can get a swatch of fabric. And you can do it just like I did. And you can design it. I could have as easily if I wanted to have put um, a different color. I didn't have to do black and white. I could have done pink and black. Purple and pink, blue, whatever. Because it's so cheap, there's no messing up. However you want to do it, you can do it. And I think they'll be okay with it. Now I'm going to go tighten up some of these little spots because I'm anal. But outside of that, we got a pretty little bracelet that we can wear. Or I can wear. And you can wear too because you can order these. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye, YouTube.